I'm sure yes. yes. Or whatever. All right. So, anyway. All right. Aries. First card. Empress. Reversed. I have. You know what comes to mind? Any potatoes? This is Joan Crawford. What? <laughs> 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 I was about to do that again. Joan Crawford was a bad mom. Oh, it is the bad mom card. It is the bad mom card. Yes. That's Joan Crawford. Right. Oh my God, you're talking about um, Sweet Baby Jane? Yeah, I'm talking about Sweet Well, the, which her daughter. Oh, I, she's a human being. She's a human. Her daughter wrote a book about the treatment she received. No, why? Oh, I told you. No, why? I don't care. From her mother, Mommy Dearest. Mommy Dearest. Oh, interesting. Mommy Dearest. Yeah, so is there a Mommy Dearest in your midst? That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Yeah. There might be a Mommy Dearest somewhere in your midst, and pray to God you're not one. Right. right. Yes. It is a bad mom card, but just because this card is coming up doesn't mean you are a bad mom. Some of you may not like what you're doing. So if you have children and they don't like uh, some of the decisions that you made, they may call you a bad mom. This mom is the bad mama. Right. Or um, that's just that's just one aspect yes, of it. But that's why I call it chain problem. Yeah. Like but you know, we also have people who email us um, and Facebook us and ask about uh, fertility readings. Oh, absolutely. So we've had some... Two or three. Yeah, yeah, we've had a couple of viewers ask us about fertility readings. Now, if this is your month to try and conceive, well, the card is telling you that this is probably not a great month to try and conceive. Or to um, try and give birth. Because the Empress Upright is the major arcana kind of card of uh, giving new life. I mean, mm -hmm. that's what the Empress does. She brings new life forward. Right. Right. Um, and she manifests those seed ideas within her. And so there may be a, a, a difficulty. There sure could. Yeah. And if there's one more thing, or one more, I mean, you know, these cards are like, as we've said, novels. They're like yeah, war and peace. So we can go on on. But this card, you know, we'll find out the other cards, um, a little bit more about this card. And maybe you're not feeling like my Venus yeah, either. Right. I mean, it can mean you're not feeling like a goddess or someone yeah. is like, viewing you as a goddess or you've yeah. been knocked off the goddess pedestal. Yes. Yes. So, there you go. Next. Next. Oh, your challenge. Oh boy, we're going to have like a really serious Aries reading here. You seem to be. Uh, developing one right before our very eyes. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. And so we have death reversed, though. Yeah, your challenge. So your challenge. What's that? Well, so, I got a pretty good idea. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, death reversed. First, I'm going to say, Ava, if you watched this before, loves the death card. It's my butterfly card. In the upright. Yes. Should I say the upright because it's the card of alchemy? I mean, it's just, it is It is the, yeah. I mean, this is the actual um, total change. The reassembly of all that is into something brand new. Mm -hmm. Transformation. Right. So this card is telling us that your challenge is to, first of all, transform. But you need to, before you can even transform, you need to acknowledge that the transformation needs to take place and make moves toward writing this card. <laughs> Which is not ignoring uh, that something needs to go. Be it a relationship, mm -hmm. be it an idea, because we have the Empress here, or yeah, it also can be, you know, it also can be trying to bring something forth and miscarrying, okay? It doesn't have to be a child. Yes. But it could be trying to bring an idea forth or um, even a relationship forward and continuing to miscarry. So, um, I don't know, that's, that's well, pretty dire. 
No, but you see why I'm having a hard time grasping it right now is because this, this is a double negative, like a set a double negative, right. in that uh, it's reversed, yet it's your challenge. All right, so when it's reversed, it's not accepting change. It's not accepting transformation. So now as your challenge that you must accept change, you must accept transformation, or the double negative. There's something about it that says that, okay, maybe you're not ready somehow for the change, mm -hmm. and thereby or therefore your challenge is not to hurry too quickly, Hmm. Towards that change? See the double negative? I do. I just, to me, it's like the um, inability to uh, transform because we have this part. Right. So the inability to bring forth life. And there's death and life side right. by side. I guess that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing these two that they're a complete opposition. Yeah. And then this is the part of life, this is the part of death. Let's go on. Right. Let's, oh, let's, our, just, let's see let's what. Our, let's let's try to wrap our head around the next uh, card here. Maybe we'll get oh, some help from Spirit. Oh, All right. So there we get affirmation from Spirit that we are again. All these readings are done spontaneously, and a lot of the time we will get the same card for the same signs over and over again. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have the Nine of Wands. This time it is in the upright. We had it last month, and it was in the inverse. Um, so, I mean, it's almost as if they picked up the, the um, you know, the staff, the, um, the passion, the, the rod. I mean, they're, they're back in the game again, okay? Um, but almost going backward, because this is in the upright. So, we're still in that position of, okay, Man, this is hard. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing this right. card. It's like, right. man, this is hard. Um, okay, so trying to bring this so, to fruition. So, so, what's begging here? What's what's begging in the card is for a new life to begin. Yeah, it's begging because for that to take place, there's so many uh, so many aspects of yourself that you have to change, that you have to become aware of. On a very deep level, look at this. This is two major arcana cards. Right, right. So it's deep, deep karmic things going on here, mm -hmm. and unexpectedly, you are um, given. You see, your this this last wand, the ninth wand, is really your. Um, what, what would you? Call, you know, when you take a, a walk in the in the mountains, your staff, your rod, your staff. Oh, that's like the song. Yes, yes. It's you know, thy rod and thy, thy staff, they comfort me. They comfort you. Wow, awesome. so yea, though I walk through the valley of death, yes. I will fear no evil. Oh. Get down into the valley of death because you know you got to take that, you know, traverse the valley of death. Right, and you to upright and this card. Exactly. And the valley of death isn't a bad place. No, 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 no. Just the valley of death. death is the valley of change. Right. What inside of you needs transformation, and you have to face it in order to bring yourself to the final, the finality. This is a nine. You're, you want to get to the finality, to the cross, to the finish line. You can't have new life. You can't experience rebirth without death. It's impossible. Yeah, it's impossible. So, right. and it feels like we need to remind our viewers that Aries, we die a little bit every day, and we said that before. Yes, we're constantly shedding death our own skin. Exactly, death. Is, if death were not a part of life, nothing could grow. Nothing could actually have life, because life is built on trillions of deaths. The cells in our body are constantly dying. We don't notice it. You ride on top of it. You're completely unconscious of the multiple deaths that take place within your body all the time. You even, you even die to who you were last year, last month, last week. 
You don't notice it. You, you feel a continuity as you move forward. But without those deaths, both psychologically and physically, you couldn't live. That's right. Here's the outcome. Here's the outcome. For the entire month of this extremely karmically charged. of September, and I'm just like, oh, that's really good. It's really good. That's really good. So you're going to do the work, and you're going to do it for yourself. You have the Eight of Pentacles. I love this part. This is learning. This is deep study. This is watching and learning from someone else who's done it before. Yes, this is attention to detail. It is. This is pragmatic skill acquisition and this is making money which is a really learning how to fish right which is great because we had five in the position of challenges last month which told us that we were very concerned about being able to meet your own sort of practical needs yes so this tells us where you go at the end of the month. That's it. That's what you do at the end of the month. So you're learning a new skill, you're apprenticing at something, uh, you're applying yourself, you're, you're, you're being very practical. You solve the situation through practical application of your skills. That's right. That's right. And wow, what a reading. Because if you look at this reading, it starts with this major dichotomy. Yes. It's like this big, this is the biggest stuff in life. Yes. Life and death. You are born and you die. Joan Crawford gets a job. <laughs> she goes to work and the salt mines. <laughs> right? I don't know. I mean, you know, but I mean, and then that's another way of looking at it. But, but you know, the reason why I'm bringing up the life and the death is that, you know, the month is beginning with these major karmic issues. Yeah. You know, we all have major karmic issues in our life. And then we have more mundane, uh, you know, solutions. It can be a, a mundane solution can go quite far. Yes, yes. In terms of healing these things. Mm -hmm. You're very right. So, I mean, I'm just saying if there was a miscarriage at, you know, um, if there is loss of hope, See, um, you know, have faith. Have faith and go back to school. Um, and this could be learning anything because the attention that you will have to pay to uh, the development of a new skill um, will allow you to make the kinds of transformations you need to make and to get yourself to the Ten of Wands, which is the end of the finish line. To move over it. And so I believe that these challenges for an Aries are fundamental. Oh, yeah. Because. Yeah, they've been getting like inverted chariots. Right. Remember that? I mean, yes. giving, just giving your power to somebody else. Like mm -hmm. we had that going on, which to me is the inverted chariot when you're not in the driver's seat right. for, you, for your own life. Right. And, um, you know, at the end. You take it back. Yeah, and you know, often uh, when you develop your own skills, this gives you the kind of self confidence and self awareness that will help you to realize the beauty of who you are. Mm -hmm. Because practical things can often lead to very spiritual awakening. And it can be that just this is necessary for you to, to have a, a firm foundation and to develop yourself in your skill sets. And it is your defense because the nine is. is a card of defending what you've already built. Mm -hmm. So your defense is yes, this is the in applying this is the yourself. The, the, the staff you're leaning on. Right. It is applying yourself. So you guys had a great reading. Yes, and if you would like a personal reading um, to clarify for yourself individually how this could be applicable to your circumstances, your life circumstances, please come to virtualtoro.wordpress.com and choose.
perhaps anything like a, a new beginnings, life path, or deep meaning, probably it would be appropriate. And uh, we'll um, do a reading that will we'll do a reading that will help you to understand how to deal with this. How to deal with this. This life and death stuff that's yes, going on. Absolutely. I mean, whatever the situation is, it feels like life and death. Right. So it could be, you know, a lot of Something different is pushing you towards, things. towards having to change. Yeah. It could be a lot of different things. things. Yeah. Well, they don't want to walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. Yeah. And the valley of the shadow of death is change. So you can go there. Um, thanks for showing up. We will be here in the month of... October. <laughs> and what happens in October? Halloween. Halloween. And who do you guys love in Halloween? Ava and Trudy. <laughs> so come on back. And we're flying on our roof. Yeah, stay <laughs> tuned. Uh, we're going to tell you how to get to that uh, good part, which is the council car. You won't want to miss it. Yeah. Um, please uh, stay tuned and see how you get your key. Forget. Forewarned is forearmed. <laughs> <laughs>
and those you love. The Emperor. Protect and provide. Setting rules. Drive and ambition. Leading with confidence. The Hierophant. Seeking counsel. Adopting a traditional value system. Exploring your heritage. The Lovers. Choice between the known and the unknown. Balancing the intellect with the heart. Who do you love and why? The Chariot. Focusing your drive and your ambition. Uniting mind, body, and spirit to succeed. Following the straight and narrow road to your goal. Justice. Fair and impartial assessment. Evaluate the consequences before you decide. Accepting responsibility for the outcome. The Hermit. Who you are is really the question. Deep reflection on all aspects of the situation. Turning your attention towards spiritual things. The Wheel of Fortune. A new stage emerges. Accept that all things change. Things may be out of your control for now. Good luck is in your future. Strength. Believe in yourself. Use honesty. Use honey and not vinegar to subdue your opponent. Face your fears and go for it. The hanged man. Step outside the box. Things are in limbo. Something of value may have to be sacrificed. Death. The close of an era. Shedding the old and growing into the new. A complete transformation is about to take place. Temperance. Taking the path between two extremes. Art is your salvation. Compelled by the chemistry of what you love. The devil. Surrender to your passions. You have as many masters as you have vices. A power struggle. The tower. Cataclysmic forces bring absolute change. The dam breaks and releases pent up energy. What was built on a weak foundation suddenly falls. The star. Faith and hope is restored. Helping others can heal you. Spirit guides you forward. The moon. Caught in a web of illusions, your imagination runs away with you. Everything is not as it seems. The sun. The light of a new understanding. Pure joy. Success at last. Say yes to life. Judgment. Clear judgment must be used. At the crossroad, which way will you go? Freedom will be the consequence of the right choice. An epiphany. The world. Accept the applause for a job well done. You have crossed the finish line. A new life. New goals. Great joy. Watch this video over and over until you can look at the cards and recall what they mean without the help of this video guide. We at Virtual Tarot want to help you to understand the cards so that you can begin to awaken to the enormous spiritual potentials sleeping within you. Start with a four card spread after you learn the cards. And you can come to our video channel, Virtual Tarot, and learn our classic four card spread, which we use to forecast for all 12 astrological signs each month. Please go to our YouTube channel, Virtual Tarot, 
to learn our classic four card spread with Ava and Trudy. Enjoy. This night, leave them dreaming. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna dance all night. So, right. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna dance all night. So, right. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. All the girls just dress it on up and walk it out like you feel it. Losing the girls by working those heels and stomp that like you mean it. Rocking all the girls with the muscle in your chest and work it till you're sweating. Take it all back, don't let them have that. We be the girls, girl, trend sad and all the girls in the club and we're gonna dance all night. So right, all the girls in the club and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. First one to hit the floor and stand up. <laughs> Gotta make it happen, no one can touch ya. Stand up. Uh, inhibitions will break this crowd down. Stand up. Uh -huh. Put a drink down, come join this round and all the girls in the club and we're gonna dance all night. So right, all the girls in the club and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. This night, leave them dreaming. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna dance all night. So right. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna dance all night. So right. All the girls in the club, and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. All the girls just dress it on up and walk it out like you feel it. Losing the girls by working those heels and stomp down like you mean it. Rocking all the girls with the muscle in your chest and work it till you're sweating. Take it all back, don't let them have that. We be the girls, girl, trend sad and all the girls in the club and we're gonna dance all night. So right, all the girls in the club and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side. First one to hit the floor and stand up. <laughs> Gotta make it happen, no one can touch ya. Stand up. Uh, inhibitions will break this crowd down. Stand up. Uh -huh. Put a drink down, come join this round and all the girls in the club and we're gonna dance all night. So right, all the girls in the club and we're gonna drive all the boys to the side.
is the for the entire month of this extremely karmically